Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. So, lambing is nearly done, we have a few left, but we're gonna just do a quick video here because a few weeks back, a lot of you know, I was honored to be made an NSA Next Generation Ambassador, but I haven't uploaded the video yet to show you guys how we got on on our first session. So, what we're gonna do now, guys, is take a look back then, show you exactly what, got, what we got up to, and it wasn't too far away because the first session was in Shropshire and Staffordshire. So let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It was a good one. <laughs> to start off, a lot of you'll be wondering exactly what the NSA is. Well, they are the National Sheep Association here in the UK. Their main aim is to represent sheep producers across the country. Alongside this, they host events and sessions supporting the UK sheep sector. This includes a biannual intake of 12 next generation ambassadors, of which I'm very fortunate to be part of this year. The scheme includes four three day sessions visiting different farms across the length and breadth of the UK as well as talks from industry experts. And there was no better way to start off than on my doorstep in Staffordshire and Shropshire. First stop, Staffordshire Showground, giving us a chance to introduce ourselves to each other, as well as have a talk from Tom Chapman, a previous ambassador. It was great to hear about the different farms and sheep systems all the other ambassadors had. With all the introductories out of the way, day one was done. Day two was definitely the day everyone was looking forward to as we headed to JCB Farms, one of, if not the biggest, sheep enterprise in the county. After the short journey up the road, we arrived to a typical English wet, miserable morning. But not to worry, that didn't take away anything from the day ahead. With the lead into lambing, a lot of the ewes on the farm had recently been shorn and housed. Even better for me, as the majority of the flock at JCB were cleansed, totalling two and a half thousand. Yes, that's right, two and a half thousand breathing ewes. That makes my 300 look very small. Another thing I forgot to mention about two thirds of the next gen group, a lot were Clint fans too. Bonus. They must be doing something right as a society. Now, back to the farm. Very interestingly, being on a TMR, a total mixed ration, the ewes were housed in batches, allowing the farm manager Matt and head shepherd James to feed exactly what each ewe required to produce lambs, saving money on feed and expensive proteins. After a quick introduction, it was time for a trip around the estate, in which on top of the sheep, they also produced beef, chicken, and venison for their own farm shop, Dalesford Organic, down in the Cotswolds. The estate was so picturesque, seeing the lambs in an organic system on innovative herbal lays as well as traditional grass lays too. Having got the opportunity to see them in action drafting lambs, it just shows the scale of the system in place. Unlike a lot of farms, JCB aim for year-round finished lambs to be produced, supplying approximately 80 to 100 lambs every week to their farm shop. Meaning on top of the thousands of lambs they produce themselves, they also buy in stores to be finished. It is some hell of a setup. Now back to the farm for a coffee and an afternoon of technicals with vet Philippa Page. First of all, talking about used condition going into lambing, followed by lameness. This was fascinating, going way more in depth than the usual market chat. But yes, I'm one of those people that could chat about sheep all day and never get bored. We even got the opportunity for some real life examples with Matt pulling out a couple of lame ewes. Finally, we headed inside for further discussion about health problems affecting the sheep sector. It can really scare you what is out there, but to sum it up, I reckon a closed flock is definitely the way forwards. What a day and a massive thank you to Matt, James and Philippa for an incredible day. And what better way to relax and head back to the hotel for a pint, game of pool and test out our aim with a spot of beer pong. On to day three, with a minor, yes minor, sore head, I assure you, we headed to familiar surroundings for myself, Harper Adams University. We were day discussing social media with a few familiar faces. A really interesting take what we can be doing to help bring the general public closer to farms. With great initiatives such as Farmer Time, Open Farm Sundays, onto social media and written media too. 
but before we knew it, that was day three done and time to head home. What incredible three days it has been. Well, what an amazing few days that was. We got to go around JCB Farms. We had a talk from Philippa Page, absolutely incredible vet. And also we can't forget the, the other 11 ambassadors Absolutely amazing people, picked up so much from them already. If anything, I think I'm gonna pick more off them than going around these farms. But yeah, I can't wait for the next one. I'm gonna do a little bit more of a vloggy style video, so do some talking as we go around, hopefully. Now I know everyone I did, just wanna chuck a camera in their face straight away. So guys, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, it would be quite nice for you to go to the NSA and give them a follow on Instagram and Facebook because they are absolutely amazing for giving me this opportunity. So thank you to them. Um, I'll put some Instagram pages of all the NSA ambassadors if you want to check them out too. But most of all guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I look forward to the next one where hopefully we should have finished slamming. <laughs>